How's it going, everybody? Got another load of wheel horse tractors, so uh, let's see what I grabbed. So we'll start right here. Uh, obviously, we got a GT14 with an arc loader on it. Pretty cool. I'm very excited to have this. I'm pretty sure this is an arc loader. If anybody knows for sure, if it's not an arc loader, just let me know. Uh, but this is a nice little tractor. It's got ag tires in the back or more industrial style tires in the back. Uh, it's got a three-point hitch that works, which is awesome. And then obviously it's got the loader. Four lug bearing front wheels or front spindles, heavier duty for the loader. Um, one, of the, one of the previous owners built this set of forks for it. They just kind of pin on where the bucket pins on. These are the actual fork blades down here. These front two cylinders have been replaced. These are not the OEM ones, but they still work. This thing has great down pressure. It'll pick the tractor right up off the ground. It's got a 12 horse motor swapped into it, but it's got the proper air filter and the little elbow for the air filter. Uh, it's got tire chains on it that don't really seem to do much because they kind of just sit in the treads. Um, and I mean, other than that, it runs, it drives, it operates. Um, so yeah, it's got the original set of turf saver style tires that are still brand new wheel horse, which is kind of cool. Spare transmission, 14 horse with the, the keyway for the fly, you know, for the flywheel, that's all busted out. Uh, but that's still a good block. Parts tractor, look at that on the other side. And a, a uh, GT14 parts machine. Thing really, there's not much left of it that's worth anything. But when it's tossed into the deal for pretty much free, I, I, I couldn't say no to that. Better look at the three point hitch on this machine. Check this out. Cigarette lighter works. That's pretty cool. Don't know if I've ever had one that worked before. And the headlights work. Right here is a C125. This is actually the donor tractor for that motor right there. Uh, other than that, it looks pretty complete. I mean, all the wiring's in there. It's got a mower deck on it. It's complete other than the motor and the rear fenders because it had plastic fenders on it, and obviously those are junk. Yeah, the guy uh, repurposed the original muffler off the C-Series. Just kind of wrapped it in some exhaust wrap. So the problem with this tractor was that the guy said it lacked power for what he needed. And when we ran and drove it at the guy's house i could see what he meant so i reached my hand in and um realized that this belt is got about i don't know maybe a quarter inch half inch of play you know up and down and it's completely shredded on the bottom side so i'm pretty positive that that belt is what was causing the issues now i've never changed a belt on a gt14 so this is going to be kind of a fun um thing to get at but uh yeah Initially, my plans were to swap this loader onto something else, but after seeing that, and if that's the only issue with this tractor, I'm just going to go ahead and fix that and just keep it as is instead of, you know, going through and swapping the loader onto something else. I get a lot of people that ask me um, for three-point hitch loaders, you know, loaders with three-point hitch, and most of the time I don't have them because it's kind of hard to find. You know, I got like my 455 Deer. Um, but other than that, I really never had many. I mean, I guess that white had a three point hitch, stuff like that. But that's what I'm, I'm always asked for. They're a pretty good grab. Very excited about it. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much this trailer. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.